So like, I don't even know where to begin with everything just because it's been literally so long since I've been on YouTube. Um, but I'm back and I really want to do something special with this channel, some a completely different approach from what I had done in previous videos where they're just beauty related. Um, a lot has changed in my life. A lot about me has changed. Um, when I was doing those videos, I was like a freshman in college. I was like 18, 19. Um, I'm 21 now. 21? So you stupid. It's been about like two-ish years. Um, and I feel like for a lot of people that might be like, well, you haven't really changed a lot, but a lot has changed in my life. Um, so I guess this is a life updates video, kind of gonna make it like a vlog, just because I'm just gonna be talking about my life and like what I'm up to. Um, but I think this is really cool to kind of give everyone a perspective of what I want to do with my channel, kind of who I am and what I'm about. And a lot of people that were watching my channel before have no idea what I'm up to now. So, um, let's just hop right into it. Before I get anything started, um, the reason why I came back and decided to start doing YouTube videos, um, I do have to credit someone very special in my life who has always, and especially now more than ever, has pushed me to do anything and everything I set my mind to. Um, sometimes I feel like we're so easily caught up in you know, what if this happens and you're scared and you don't feel like you're you're the best at what you do, but um, you never know until you try. And if there's anything that I've learned is that you have to surround yourself with people that want the best for you and want to push you to be a better version of yourself, um, at least if you want to grow. That for me is like the most important thing, I'm always looking for ways to transform myself and be a better person and be better at what I do. Um, and that person um, pushes me to do that, so thank you. <laughs> Where I'm filming right now, uh, I know it probably doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is to me. I'm sitting on my couch right now in my apartment and it's my apartment. I don't live with my mom anymore. Sorry, mommy, but I don't live with you. Um, I'm doing this by myself, living by myself. Well, with my dog, of course, but adulting at its finest with my own place. I recently relocated from Miami, which is where I was born and raised, and I moved to Fort Myers to a, to, I moved to Fort Myers to accept a job offer at the local news station. So I'm working at Waterman Broadcasting, which is um, two stations and one uh, business or one company rather. Um, so it's ABC7 and NBC2. Um, I've kind of been flip-flopping around both sides and producing for both, but I'm mainly an ABC7 producer. So yeah, I'm a producer. I haven't graduated college yet. I graduate now in July. Um, my last semester is a semester in the summer. Um, so to say that I have a job, my dream job in my industry in such a great market is incredible. I, I feel so lucky and sometimes like I'm like, do I even deserve this? Did I even work hard enough for this? Because I know so many people that I went to school with or people that I've seen like in Miami that are so good at, at this career and they don't have jobs. Um, so to be in market 55 in the country out of 210 markets, um, being relatively close to home, um, and being in such a great work environment and doing what I love has been amazing. For the longest time I went to school and I was like, I'm going to be a reporter uh, and then be an anchor one day because I love being on camera and that's what journalism is about. Um, but going into my last semester, um, my spring semester of my senior year, um, which was this last one before summer. <sighs> what did you say? I realized, you know, I don't think that this is what I'm meant to do. I think that there's, you know, 
there has to be something that goes in more in depth that it's not just like camera work and just you know a quick live shot and that's it i don't want to be just a person relaying the message i want to be the person behind everything and writing the scripts and structuring the newscast and making everything flow into one cohesive piece and every single show that i do is my baby and i want to make a baby every single day and make something meaningful um and my job lets me do that i'm so incredibly grateful that i got this job opportunity i do plan on making a vlog about how i got this job um so if that's something that you guys are interested in drop a comment down below um comment or send me a message on my social medias i'll be checking all of that i want to see if you guys are interested in maybe like me doing a vlog of like you know bringing you into my job and like what i do and going more to depth about maybe my specific job or the industry in general because i feel like uh, these are things that I've learned kind of like as I've gone and um, things that I've been figuring out on my own and not something that I've learned in school. Um, so maybe that could be helpful. We'll see. Moving here because of my job was a huge shift. It's a big change for, or it was a big change and it still is because it's a lot of, you know, getting used to it of being by yourself and not having your family nearby and not depending on anybody but yourself. And that's a big change for anybody at any stage of their life. At first I was like, well, you know, a lot of my friends left for college and they've already experienced that. But I think this is like a next level kind of thing because I'm like, okay, this is full grown adulting. Like I'm doing my job and I come home and I pay rent and I pay bills. And it's just, I, it's a huge adjustment. But if there's anything that helps me feel better and like making this place feel like home has been making my place my own and adding its touches like this couch that I'm sitting on. Um, and I'm really into lifestyle now. So I used to do a lot of beauty videos because um, I felt like that was the only thing I knew how to talk about because I was young and I didn't have responsibilities and I didn't really know much about anything. But now, for example, I cook like almost every single day. So, you know, making a video about like recipes that are quick and easy to do on a crock pot because crock pots are game changers. You know, that's something that I want to do. Or I really, and I know a lot of my friends really want to see this, but a house tour. Um, I'm pretty much set on my apartment, just like, you know, stylistic, like little decor things are the only thing I'm missing. I think it looks really cute, so that's something that I want to share with you guys, where I get my stuff, how I build things. It makes me feel like I'm on Home and Garden TV, so if you want to join me and watch that, that'd be great. <laughs> so what are the future plans? Definitely, I want to do a lot of cool content for you guys. I want to do mostly lifestyle stuff, you know. Tell me what you guys want to watch. I want to get into like stuff to do at home, like or home related things. I want to get into like spiritual stuff because I do feel like I've tuned into my spiritual side a lot. It's a new journey and it's a cool journey and I want to make more vlogs like this. I want to make something more personal and I just want to feel like me. I just want to make something that's genuine, something that everyone can relate to. At this point, I'm just like open to whatever whatever the, the audience wants. What the audience wants is what the audience gets. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, whether it's good or bad, even though if it's bad, it kind of might hurt my feelings, but just kidding. If you have anything to say, um, drop in the comments. If there's something that you want to see from me, drop in the comments as well. Um, I'll try to post way more often. Um, I've told everyone that asked me why I quit YouTube or stopped doing it was because it's so time consuming. But to be quite frank with you, I work. Um, and then after I have nothing else to do. I can't wait for you guys to join me on this journey. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you very, very soon. We'll figure out a schedule soon. So stick around. <laughs>